James Kaufman, World News Report. Today, today is July 12th, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something interrupting our electromagnetic field. Now I have two agitators outlined and I have more proof of my theory about the collapsing magnetosphere and cavity causing these spikes. I need y'all to remember, we never saw spikes higher than 37 hertz until 2017 and never broke 100 hertz until 2019. Since then, we've broken 200 plus hertz. So something is evolving. What is evolving? Our loss of our electromagnetic shields probably due to a polar flip, a magnetic polar flip. Let's see what the Schumann resonance looks like. These spikes go up to around three, 350 hertz. This is running behind, but we should see the 18 marker here, and we're about an hour or two past that with this event. We had an event earlier today, and again, I'm going to show you all that my hypothesis is proving very strong, although we do need an agitator, which I have two possible agitators. Remember, we've always had lightning, and CERN was in operation way before 2019. But what has changed since 2017, and is changing more so, is our magnetic field, our magnetosphere, is collapsing. And these agitators bounce off what's called the D region instead of penetrating the D region as they used to and bouncing off the ear F region of our magnetosphere, period. Now, as you know, I reported the first event that spiked off the charts. This is a six-day comparison of our Schumann residence. The second event appears to have started around 1630 UTC time. It's currently just after 1900 UTC time, almost 1930 UTC time. So we're talking about three, three and a half hours of Schumann resonance spikes off the charts. Charts on this comparison end at 50 hertz. With good reason, again, the Schumann resonance never went over 37 hertz, measured anywhere on the planet before 2017, then climbed over 100 hertz in 2019. Now we're seeing spikes upwards of 200 hertz. I know lots of people think that this is a sign of ascension. I would love to think it was as well, but looking around the globe, I see nothing but the opposite of ascension. I see people that are acting crazy in almost every country around the globe. Wars everywhere. Political problems, dictators everywhere. Atrocities towards humankind everywhere. I don't see any ascension. But please, educate me in the comments. Tell me why you think that these are either DNA downloads, light codes, or that you're ascending. Is this just something to grasp onto? Or is this based on anything that you can source? I'm sure a lot of people will scamper into the corner and hide, but I'd rather you answer the question and stick around and try to learn something. It's obviously up to you. Ignorance is bliss. Remember that. So these are hourly strips, and these are our geophones, and they're cut up into 15-minute periods. Each line is an hour. You can see the first event lasted at least three and a half or four hours. They haven't actually included the, well, most recent hour. That would be 1900 UTC time, as you can see here at 1900 UTC time. This is 16, 17, and 18. Where is 1900? So we're looking at over three hours of activity just in the last three hours. Please stick around and allow me to at least show you my hypothesis. Once I did figure this out and was able to enter it in the computer, many scientists had already written papers 
on just what I came to the conclusion of. And yes, I went and back checked this against all of the reports where space weather was included. And it looks like it's a winner. These are the amplitudes. I first reported the event earlier today that occurred just about 1.30 UTC time and exploded really all the way to about 6 UTC time. A very long-term event. We're seeing that same sort of thing happen right now. Uh, the event started here, it looks like, just after 1600, as we discussed, about 1630 UTC time. It's currently past 1900 UTC time, so all the information is a bit dated, but I'm doing the best I can with the models available. All right, this is our first possible agitator. I would assume that this is the agitator. And again, what you're seeing here with these larger spikes is not going to be downloads of DNA. It's going to be our cavity of our electromagnetic shield and magnetosphere collapsing. Again, once I came up with the hypothesis, I found hundreds of scientific papers explaining the same exact thing. You can see and hear the lightning here, and after zooming in to where the station is located, you can see that city right here, and we will zoom in to take a look. You can see it is in a mountainous region near the large town of Turin and Mont Calieri. Uh, but this is where it's located. You can see it is within this thunderstorm and lightning storm. And that's definitely an agitator. Look at the action happening over here. The other thing that's been noticed by myself is that instantaneous luminosity which only happens every once in a while when they're doing certain types of experiments at CERN's Large Hydron Collider may be an agitator as well. You can see the timing on this is very close to what we're dealing with here. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide but a possible agitator. I believe today's agitation is the lightning storms. Let's go see where the magnetosphere is. Anyone with eyes that can see that doesn't want to hide out in some false reality can see that our magnetosphere has went negative here. It's like it's almost negative 75, negative 100. It's the first clue. Here we can also see the BZ went south. That is our electromagnetic shield. I'm about to prove it on NOAA's real-time space weather as well, but I wanted to show you all this was all negative readings. It's the only time we see these spikes. Remember, I'm not trying to crush anyone's illusions. I'm trying to figure out what's going on and believe that the hypothesis is working out 100% perfectly. As you can see here, the shields have moved to the south and have become negative. And that situation has been ongoing for that entire time period. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.